I grew up in a very nice home. Um, we lived in low income, but it was still nice. Like we cared about each other, and um, I went to school like any other teenager, and I graduated, and I participated in sports and a lot of extracurricular activities, and I seemed like such a normal person until uh, I went to college, and then when I came back, I was really depressed and started drinking a lot every day. Um, first thing in the morning, I would start drinking until I can like I would black out and pass out. I ended up moving to Saskatoon, and my drinking worsened there where I would drink on end and didn't know what day it was when I woke up. I moved to Edmonton to live with my cousin. Um, while living there, we both had serious addiction problems. I was drinking every day and it eventually got to the point where she wanted me out because she wanted to smoke crack. And the house I lived in didn't have any running water and it was not a clean place to live like whatsoever. I came home one day to grab something out of the fridge and when I put my hand down on the counter, I, it was about a centimeter away from putting my hand down on a used needle. And that was it for me. I packed up my stuff and went to the woman's shelter. In the shelter, I was kind of an outcast because I wasn't the typical homeless woman or the street person. Um, my methods of surviving were things I'd never done before. I lied, I would steal, and I would steal things from people's houses. I would steal anything I could, but I never stole from the other woman because it just, there was some form of, um, there was some form of honor there. I felt that I wasn't trusted. Um, I had a habit of coming back after drinking. And even if I wasn't drinking, the staff would assume that I was drinking and wouldn't let me in. And that really discouraged me and made me feel really down and worthless and unreliable. I lived with my friends for about two months, sleeping on the floor. And to be honest, I left because my body hurt. Like, I don't know if it was because I was under stress or because I was sleeping on the floor every night, but my body hurt so bad. And I finally phoned my mom in, in December of 2005 and asked her if I could come home. And she sent me money for a ticket and I came home. When I moved back to Yellowknife, I got a job at the Center for Northern Families. And I believe they really liked me because I was insightful and I had experience with people living in poverty and people living on the streets and because I was a homeless youth at one point. It's hard to give advice to people in this situation because every situation is different and what worked for me may not work for other people. For me and I think for a lot of people it's all about self-esteem and just really knowing who you are and loving yourself and knowing what's right for you. I'm Diane and I'm one face of poverty.